What's up, my friend? <laughs> How you doing, man? Good to my see you. favorite boat on the water, the yeah. Nova Jolly people. We're here. Look at the Nova Jolly. Oh my God, I'm gonna learn how to speak Italian just because of these boats. Oh my God, I want one. Subito, subito, molto bene. Undici, dodici, tredici. I don't know. I'm learning. I'm learning as I go. Guys, we're here at the Nova Jolly booth. Ah, oh, you guys know how I feel about this brand. But I can't say anymore because then I'm gonna look like I'm getting paid by these guys. <laughs> Not funny, man. Not funny. And we gotta Not talk. I need, I, need, I need a part for one of my inflatables. We'll talk about I that know. later. I know. Here, I know you got the request already. I'm working. Guys, on. guys, look at this. Nova Jolly. And I really couldn't focus on these smaller guys last show because we were looking at the big boys. But here we're inside the tent at the Miami International Show and they're showcasing some of these nice things. Look at this. Got a Prince 38. We saw this guy last uh, show at the show in Fort Lauderdale. And let me tell you, between this one, the one I fell in love with, the, I mean, I literally fell in love with was the uh, sport cabin of uh, that 32 or 33 that they got. Oh my goodness. I'm going to put a link here to the top of that show. If you guys haven't seen it, I would suggest you see that show as well. Guys, Nova Jolly, Italian made, finesse beautiful ribs i would encourage you to go to intermarine and take a sea trial you're definitely not going to be disappointed nice nice boats okay so here we got the carib deluxe 11 guys i'm here at the carib booth and I, I want you guys to take out this little 11 footer uh because i think it's it's a well thought out good addition to anybody that's looking for a tender um remember these tenders they're all a little bit different. Some have uh, features and benefits that people like, okay? So here you have this Carib 11. And I'm gonna show you some of the features. I'm gonna hop in there real quick so we can see inside there. All right guys, so I'm here at Carib and I'm looking at an 11 Deluxe. That's one of their newer models. And I wanted to show you a couple things uh, on this boat so you guys can check it out. I'm sitting in it right now and it's, you know, 11 footers are smaller boats, but I just want you to see what they have here going on. So, you know, you're comfortable. It's not so low. So that's, that's nice. It's always good to, you know, feel comfortable, especially on a smaller boat. One of the big things that these guys at Carib push about these boats is they like to focus on the front and you have your fuel in the front. You have a fuel tank here. And one of the reasons they do that is obviously they have fuel management up here and there's more weight. So it doesn't porpoise as much. And this is completely removable. So you have access to your tank if you need it for repairs or anything like that. So you take this off and you pull these two screws up. This whole area comes up and you can get access to your tank. You can also service your tank, which is nice. Uh, sometimes in boats, they'll put them under the fiberglass. And if they go bad or anything happens, you got to rip the floor up. And that's, that's a huge problem. Oh, okay, so now I'm just I'm like here right now sitting in the front seat. I, I got plenty of space right here I'm you know, I'm about 5'11 on a good day. You know, you have access here to, for, for more storage in here Sitting here. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling you know, I'm, I'm not super comfortable. But it's a 10 foot boat 11 foot boat, right? So you have dry boxes, but this is nice all their compartments have removable They all can be removed See that you you have access in there, but the good thing is if you have you know something that gets dirty you just go dump it wash it you put it back and you're good so you have two more here if you look at this front seat it's a little bit forward and the reason why they do that is they're they're focusing on putting more weight in the front so you can plane out faster and easier so it doesn't porpoise up and you get scared while you're driving the boat this is the deluxe 11 from carib okay um nice little boat hypalon so you see that step there and you see these navigation lights here 
So the, one of the reasons why they put that there is that, you know, when you're boarding, sometimes you board from the front of the boat, you want to have a clean step so you can just step on that stepping area, you know, put your hand on the rail and then just get, get, get into the boat. Here's another area for ice. If you want to put ice in there, you know, nice and convenient, you know, maybe store a couple things there, a couple cold drinks. You have a wash down, nice. So, I mean, this is a good feature on a small boat. You know, it's 11 footer and you have, you have a wash down. It says it's like uh, 10, 15 liters. You have your light here. Right here, you just, uh, you move it to the side and it's, it's ready to go. Um, you also fill up your water for your tank here. So you have your water tank there. These, these are not included. These are my bows. <laughs> Give me my things back. All right, guys. So check it out. So look, if you're here, Kariv is here and they're showcasing these boats. I would tell you, if you're here, take a look at this little 11. It's, uh, it's pretty, but it's also very practical. And one of the main features here is the front. Remember, the fuel tank is up here. So you're gonna have more weight in the front so it doesn't porpoise up as much. You have here this seat a little bit forward so you don't, you know, porpoise up a lot. And you also have a little bit of foot space. So, foot space. so take a look at it. Let me know what you guys think. DL 11. We got Zodiac. Zodiac, Zodiac, Zodiac. Oh, nothing better than to see fishing rods on Zodiac boats. All right. Look at this little rib. Oh my goodness. We got some baby ribs over here, but this one looks. Oh, it looks like a 7.5 meter over here at the zodiac booth good job zodiac way to keep it up baby good job and there it is look at that it's got sea deck inside wow look at this oh my goodness look at that bash that is awesome Look at Zodiac people, they got other stuff over here. They, the beer is not included, it's not, I'm sorry. But the holder is, so. Look how beautiful these boats are, people. Guys, I definitely love to showcase these boats so you guys can see what is out there right now at the shows. And this is nice i mean just rib boats period dude they're making they're doing a good job with all these boats so far everything i've seen out here has been well made and looks great that is nice there you go guys zodiac for the win they are in the water i can't get in them and there you go guys here we have some avon uh we have an avon uh Right here shows nice as well, just so you guys can see that there's other things on here. Let's see what they have here. They have an F-115. Uh, and uh, let's take a look at this bad boy. Let's see what we got here with this Avon. Very, very similar to Zodiac, but it's the Avon brand. All right, so here's here's the Pro 850 Zodiac. Oof, wow, wow. What is it powered with? What is it powered with? 250s, guys, oh my goodness. Why does this happen to me? I kind of feel bad. I feel bad because I'm cheating on my boat. I'm lusting for other boats. She's, she's worried right now. My boat is like, why? Why are you doing this to me, Alfred? Look at this 850. Oh my goodness, look at this. This thing must be a beast in the water, guys. Very, very nice layout. I like it, it seems spacious. I like the fact that you have all this, you know, from the tube to the to the center console, you have plenty of space. Looks like you got a small head in there. Uh, adjustable seats. Zodiac, way to, way to do this, baby. This is, this is good stuff. Good stuff. And you got some 250 Yamahas on there. This thing should fly. There you have it, people. Zodiac. Oh boy, look at Avon. Avon, Avon, Avon. Ooh, looking sexy, Avon. Oof. She's got her high heels on. Look at this woman. 
<laughs> Avon, nice and blue jet. Nice. Looks like a 330, maybe a little bit bigger. We have here another Avon. You know, I, I, if you guys have seen some of my channels, I've done some sea trials on these guys, and I'll tell you, I am a big fan. And particularly, what I really like about these boats is this area right here that makes them plane out super, 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 super fast. I only said super for somebody who says I'm always using the word super, super, super. But yeah, Phil, you know I'm talking to you. This is an awesome boat. Very nice. Look at look at how the layout is on this guy. The save on this uh, Sea Sports looking nice, hot, hot, hot. I like the seating area. Let's check out the V on this bad boy. Wow. All right. Guys, what model is this here, this C Sport? The C Sport 490. The 490? Yes. Wow, and it's powered by what? A, a, a 90. Uh, F90 four stroke. Wow, let me tell you, I'm really liking it. It's a nice looking boat. Really, really nice. How much does it weigh? It weighs about uh, 1,450 pounds. 1,450 pounds? Nice. And what, uh, how much fuel can you hold on it? Gallon. 24 gallons so good so you'll be all all day with You're this all, day all day all day all day beautiful 490 made in America guys guys Brig and fluid from Sirocco Marine are here representing they got a lot of floor space over here at the Miami International Show and they are definitely representing All right, guys, so here's the uh, fluid uh, that's uh, here in the boat show. Nice, nice looking rib. It's powered by two 225 Hondas. I like it, I like it. We're going to have to go back inside because they have the bigger version of this fluid inside. So let's check, let's take a look at that. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. Fluid. Look at this. 35 footer. Oh my goodness. Wow. I look at those rod holders and I feel like fishing. Yes, people, you can fish off of rigid inflatable boats. We do it all the time here at Rib Fishing. This 35 fluid. Look at this nice boat. It's got some sea deck on it. Nice. I like the color. I like the color of the seating with the stitching. Very elegant. Let's look at this console. Wow, look at this. That's also interesting. We got some non-skid all throughout the boat. It looks like you got a double rub rail. Let's check out the bow. Oh, triple. Triple rub rail at the front. Wow, look at this. Oh man, I want to drive it. I so want to drive it. Guys, that's the new fluid boat. Alright guys, we're, we're inside the 35 fluid. Uh, yeah, this is uh, where you put your small fish. Not your big ones, this is small fish. So boy, show me around. So we've got the coffin box here. We've got an integrated cooler. Oh, nice. In front of the console. Nice. And then down below, we have uh, access down below, and we can put a, uh, a head down here, more storage, changing, oh, okay. and access to the electronics. Oh, nice. We've got twin LeBrock seats uh, with flip up bolsters. Um, access. Water tanks for the fresh water system. Okay. Holds nine gallons. With a sink here, fresh water, hose, wash down, bait well, live well. 
in oh here. Oh my goodness, rib fishing. When are we gonna go fishing, boy? Uh, we're gonna go fishing in a couple weeks. <laughs> Look at that. Big table wow. with um, railblazer ports for extra accessories, salt water wash down. We have the gaff mounted to the tube with a little protection there. Nice. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Removable rod holders. Um, where where are you gonna get me some of those removable rod holders? I need a, I need five right now. We need five. We make them in house. <laughs> that a is a nice touch. Taco outriggers, extra rod holders up here. Courtesy lights, floodlights. This boat runs at 70 mile an hour. 70 with these what? 300s or these 350s? Two 350s, a Yamaha. Wow. This boat in two weeks is off to the Bahamas and it's going to live its life over there. In two weeks it's gone. This is the last time we're going to see this bad boy. Wow. I right, listen, you guys did a fantastic job. Is this a sea deck or something similar this to sea deck? Sea deck. Sea deck. It feels nice and soft on your feet. Um, I, I like I like all the non skid that you have on the tubes. Obviously military grade Hypalon. Absolutely. 16, yeah. 70 guest attacks. Nice, nice. Well, listen, you guys, hey, once again, you guys have a fantastic product, and thank you for letting me exhibit it here at the show. Thank you. SeaShepherd.org. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Some boats that are looking very, very interesting. Uh, you guys earlier saw that a girl said, oh, uh, uh, she was walking by the boats. She was like, I wish I had a pocket knife and I could just go ahead and pop them all. Listen, I guarantee you, you get a pocket knife right here with this rubber right here and this this 866 Hypalon 2, you go ahead and try to put a pocket knife right here and you go like that, you're probably going to break the pocket knife or cut yourself. Because it's not going to go as easy as you think. Trust me when I tell you that. And we are here at Czar. Czar makes some nice looking tenders, people. They are here, they were representing at the other show as well. Nice small boat, looks like it got a lot of storage, comfort, nice, I like this, look at this, look at how much stepping area you have here, that is so, so nice, very, very comfortable, uh, let's look at this cockpit, very, very, very nice, this is an Italian boat guys. Oh, Orca. guys I'm telling you when you see all these ribs at these shows there's a smaller version uh, guys these are sold here in South Florida exclusively by inflatable boat pro so if you guys are in the market uh, I do believe they're in somewhere in Fort Lauderdale so if you guys want to pass by and take a look at them I'm sure they would have access to them if not they're probably in their shop oh my goodness this looks like this is this is just cute this is not even a monster this is just cute oh my goodness it's our tender there you go wow. very very nice guys Zara is doing a fantastic job guys I did a uh, an overlook on some of these other boats uh, for Zara last show if you want, take a look here in the top right corner so you can see those. Huh? I want to test it. The, I want to test its durability and and go ahead. Listen, what if I told you that those boats you can run them over with a with a suburban and it won't blow up? Really? Hyperlon versus Chevy. Dale, 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 go, go, go. All right, baby. That's Hyperlon versus Chevy. Hyperlon versus Chevy. 
Look, the valve, the valve is leaking. <laughs> All right, guys. Now, if that doesn't make you a believer of Hypolon, I don't know what will. But look at this. We're here at AB, guys. Look at AB. They, I'm telling you guys, this year, all this section from here, all the way, a little bit further that way, is all rigid inflatables. And the market is growing here in North America. And people are starting to go ahead and pick these things up. Little by little, that's the plan. We got AB here. This is a nice looking rig. Very similar to the one we were just on a little while ago. Oh man, look at this. Let's see this guy. Nice, nice, nice. Got a Yamaha 115. Guys, just real quick, it's not being exhibited at the show, but we don't see these too often. We got a Capelli 410 up here. There you go, it's on this Fleming. Nice, very nice. Oh, look at this, guys, an 850 Brunswick. Um, this is this is <laughs> this is definitely an awesome rig right here. Um, we've done we've done a retube on one of these uh, police boats. Uh, I don't have it on the channel anymore because you know it is a law enforcement boat, and we don't want to go ahead and give everything away. But this Brunswick is definitely for military and law purposes. Here's the uh, the bow and. 850, this is an 850 Brunswick. Obviously this will be another type of police vessel or support vessel, kind of like the other boat that we saw, the Ocean Marine. Um, I think it's very nice looking rib, guys. Very nice, all on the trunk. Let's look at the... Uh, you guys get to compare apples to apples. It's got some Mercs on them right here. It's got the wing uh, tubes, and it's got two 300 Mercury Verados. There you go, the Brunswick. So, so John, tell me exactly about this little boat. Tell me about it. This is the Sea Eagle Fish Skiff. It's a patent-pending inflatable skiff. It will plane with a six-horsepower engine. Probably the only boat in this Miami boat show that will do that. Uh, it'll go all day on a uh, few, few gallons of gas, so you don't have to worry about fuel expense. Um, it will go 15 knots with one person or 12 knots with two people with just six horsepower. Wow, that is great. crazy. It's and great and chop. It's uh, and, uh, fast, easy, maneuverable, easy to store. Are these chairs removable or how does that work? Uh, they're all removable. When oh, you're, uh, if you want to pack it up in a pickup truck, you just unstrap the chairs, um, put the seats in the back, deflate the boat, roll it up. That is awesome. And right now you guys have this one powered with a four. We have it with a four on display here. Uh, it can take a six, which is really a better engine for it, but the four is what we have uh, on this particular display. Are you, are you primarily seeing this in a lot of lakes? Where are you seeing the majority of people that are, are starting to purchase these? Are, are they uh, tender? What, 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 what primarily is the buyer for this type of boat? The buyer for this is into fishing, and they can be anywhere. Um, we fished it in the Long Island Sound. Um, in fact, in our testing, we took it out to Middle Ground, which is eight miles out in the Sound, with a six horsepower engine. Wow. And got there in about 40 minutes. That is awesome. And and all these uh, rod holders or stuff like that, is that included, or is that additional? It's in it is included. We cool. have a package with the canopy and a Honda 5. Uh, 3849. 3849 and that's ready to go. Is that's that ready to show? go. Is that boat show or, or is there... Uh, no, another? that's that's on the on the Sea Eagle website. Oh, so nice. After the show, you can just go to seaeagle.com. Okay. okay. Awesome. And you have a uh, little anchor here. And it's all hard bottom. How many uh, compartments for air is there? There's three separate air chambers. Three separate. All PVC, right? PVC drop stitch. 
So there's thousands of little threads connecting the top to the bottom layers. That's what gives it its rigidity. Similar construction to an inflatable stand-up paddleboard. Nice. Well, listen, thank you for letting me showcase your Sea Eagle. Guys, uh, especially you guys that like rib fishing, <laughs> this is something you're definitely going to want to take a look at. All right, guys, this is Todd, and Todd is going to build the boat that the Minotaur is going to use to intercept you when they are crazy, right, Todd? What's That's going right. on? <laughs> so, so Todd, Todd has a, a very scary looking rib here. Uh, and I say scary because it looks super intimidating. It's all black on black, which is the way it's supposed to be if you're going to intercept somebody, right? That's correct. So, so Todd, tell me about this boat. I see you got two uh, 300 power uh, Evinrude e techs on there. Uh, can you show me more or less of what we got here and explain some of the features on this particular boat? Yeah, I'd be happy to. So this one is uh, our 9.5 meter. Uh, it's specifically designed an above deck layout for vessel interdiction and boarding team delivery. So getting out to a, uh, a contact, a hostile contact very quickly, uh, intercepting that contact and putting the boarding team, uh, embarking them to that, uh, to that ship. Wow. It's got a convertible uh, shot inches of travel. Uh, the aft seats for the boarding team have uh, eight inches of travel. It's got a uh, wireless crew communication system, a uh, forward-looking thermal camera, aft-looking infrared camera, and a whole host of other bells and whistles. Wow, I like a lot. The way it's powered is about 60 miles an hour, uh, but the uh, transom is rated for up to twin 400s, uh, in wow. which case you can get 72 miles an hour out of it. Wow, 72 miles an hour on this bad boy. You got the non-skid up here, I like that. Is this whole aluminum? It looks like it's an aluminum ball. No, this is, uh, we build out of both glass and aluminum. This one's fiberglass because we can get a very dynamic shape out of it. Uh, this one uses our patented uh, concave reverse chine design, uh, which enables it to have great holding power. So when you put this hard over into a turn, even at top speed, uh, it doesn't slip, it doesn't slide, it doesn't uh, cavitate, it doesn't catch a chine, it doesn't do anything but turn. Like it's all real. So, but this console here is all aluminum, though. Is that what it I'm is. seeing? Okay. I see. So, what, 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 uh, what, what are we looking as far as weight and and uh, fuel? Finish, yeah, finished boat, nominal wet weight. It's about eight thousand pounds. Okay. Uh, fuel capacity is two hundred gallons. It has twin tanks of uh, uh, midship, one forward, one aft, hundred gallons each. Uh, at cruising speed of 36 mph, it burns 20 gallons an hour. So that gives you an effective range of just under 400 nautical miles without refueling. That's, that's amazing. Well, listen, I'm so glad I bumped into you guys. Guys, this is Todd from Ocean Craft Marine, and I'm going to put the description below. Mercury Marine, Mercury Marine, we're right here. Inflatables. Guys, check it out. Look at this. Mercury. We got a show special here. A door buster. $22,000. Relax, people. Don't worry. Little by little. We will get you on a red boat. We're just trying to figure out which one you like. Um, performance. Comfort. You want to have everything when you have these boats. And I'll tell you one thing that I'm really impressed with Mercury is that you're starting to see their engines everywhere everywhere i like that that means there's parts and service everywhere also you need a little dinghy you want to get out here you go you got a soft bottom look 6.99 with uh look at that you got all these guys different models here at the show I like it, I like it, I like it. Oh people, we can we can celebrate this one. We're closing out the show. Raise the flag. We've done it. It's over. Another bridge. Tenders and dingy. Show is over. Guys, uh, if you guys want to visit the Lord and still be in the water, buy one of these. This is the guy who inspired me to do this YouTube channel. Watch this.
best guy to know when it comes to ribs and tendons. That is awesome. <laughs> I am. I am. I'm gonna come see you guys. Look at the low max Angelina. Guys, look at this. Guys, this is awesome. Trust me when I tell you, you guys want to definitely come out here to Yas Miami.